Well, so I mean, at, at the top of everyone's list is clearing because, of course, it's it's right around the corner, and a lot of things haven't been finalized yet. Uh, but I would put, I would actually talk about not just clearing, but clearing in the entire regulatory environment and how it's changing. Uh, we've got regulatory bodies that properly are wanting to see derivatives better managed, more tightly controlled, and 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 uh, monitored. And yet, at the same time, you know, we're waiting for a lot of the rules to be written that we need to comply to very quickly. Well, um, I think we are going to end up with more automated processes, with more, uh, more electronic links between uh, providers and clearing houses, providers and DCMs, etc. And that's good for the market, but uh, that change is going to be is going to take a little bit of time to come into place. Well, we've got a lot of customers who are very active traders and derivatives now and intend to be very active traders and derivatives later, I mean, in the future. But uh, we all know the environment's changing and it's changing. And what we're trying to do is make it as seamless as possible for those customers. And that means that as a company, we have to straddle the world of bilateral derivatives and the world of cleared derivatives for them and provide these links and make it seamless for them so that they can control and manage their data and focus on what they're good at, which is making money. Um, so I've been very interested in the, uh, in the outsourcing seminars, obviously because that's a business that we're involved in, but the data management has been particularly interesting to me because uh, one of the things that's really come to the fore is that We've managed derivatives with a, a large amalgam of systems that have been built over the last 30 years. And we're at an inflection point in the market where, where our requirements are being increased every day, not only to report to regulators, but also to report to governing bodies, to report to CEOs, to report to uh, investors. And so, the, and, and by the way, to report to regulators, form PF and things like this. And I think that, that, uh, that the, the the market is ripe for, for better data management around this entire process.